Making biodiesel involves the transesterification reaction, where oil is combined with an alcohol and a catalyst to make fuel and a glycerol byproduct. However, it's important to note that the type of oil can affect the reaction as well as the resulting fuel. One of the common feedstocks for biodiesel is used cooking oil, also called waste vegetable oil. This is the stuff that gets tossed out from restaurants and delis after it's been used to fry up your donuts, chicken legs, and french fries. It's also the main thing we use at the University of Idaho to power our biodiesel vehicles. From an environmental standpoint, this is a really good feedstock because it's a recycled material that would otherwise have to be disposed of. From a biodiesel production standpoint, however, used cooking oil requires some special considerations. Because it was already used to make food, used cooking oil can come in with some impurities left over from the fryer. While some of these can be filtered out, it may be the case that the oil still has too many free fatty acids, also called FFAs. Too many free fatty acids can make soap instead of fuel. At best, you'll lose quite a bit of yield as most of your product turns into soap. At worst, you're looking at an emulsion, and you can look forward to cleaning up a creamy, bio-cheesy soap monster mess. To avoid these issues, it's important to test your oil beforehand. You can do this with an acid number titration. To begin, you'll need a titration solvent. We make ours with 500 milliliters of toluene, 495 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol, and 5 milliliters of water. You'll also need potassium hydroxide of about 0.1 normality and p naphtal benzene indicator. You start by measuring about 50 milliliters of titration solvent into an Erlenmeyer flask. You then add 8 drops of p naphtal benzene indicator. In our case, we had already put the indicator into the solvent. You then measure out 20 grams of your oil, record the mass, and add it to the solvent. Put the potassium hydroxide in the titration burette and record the starting point for the volume. Titrate the solvent oil mixture with potassium hydroxide until the color changes from orange to green. The color change should last at least 15 seconds. Then record the ending volume of titrate. Subtract this to get the titration volume. To get the total acid number, you take the milligrams potassium hydroxide used in the titration and divide it by the grams of the sample. This is the same as taking the titration volume multiplied by the normality of the potassium hydroxide multiplied by 56.1, which is the molecular weight of potassium hydroxide, and dividing this entire number by the mass of the sample. To get a percentage FFA, if your oils are mostly oleic, take the total acid number and divide it by 1.99. We have a calculator on our website that will crunch this number for both mostly oleic acids and mostly lauric acids. If your percent FFA is higher than 3-5%, to you probably want to pre-treat your oil before turning it into biodiesel.